Hey guys, so the don't tread on me. You guys probably know about that, but for me as a German, this is totally new um, because of in Germany, we don't have laws like the second amendment um, that allows us to carry weapons. Um, we can own weapons, um, all kinds of uh, rifles, pistols and so on, but um, it all has to do something with uh, competition, shooting or sports shooting, or even if you're a hunter, which is a lot more expensive in Germany and it needs a few special things that you have to have before you can become a hunter. If you're new to the channel, I did a video in German. Check it out. You need you need place where you can go hunting and therefore you have to own property which most of the people in Germany don't have. Um, sometimes if you know another hunter who owns huge properties um, with, with uh, woods on it, um, with a forest on it, then you can go there and ask him for permission to do uh, your hunting uh, on his property. But um, for the most of the people in Germany, to be a, sh a sports shooter is cheaper. And we have a lot of different clubs in Germany who allow you to buy certain guns with certain disciplines. Um, maybe I can do another video about this if you're interested how the gun laws are in Germany but for today I'm gonna talk about how to get your carry license here in Virginia because that's what I did when I came here um, it wasn't clear where I can get my, my, my concealed carry license and how I am allowed to buy a gun because I am from Germany but I live here now so we had to ask a lot of people. We went to Cabela's and asked them because before all of this, um, I've heard about a hunting education course, which I did. Um, it's a f about 14 hours or so um, of lessons that you have to take online. And after that, you get a certificate, um, I guess with the card, with the hard case uh, card that I got, it's about $39 or so, but you can do it for $29 if you don't want the card and just need the piece of paper you want to print. And it's pretty interesting, maybe not uh, as complex as to become a hunter in Germany because it's the hunting education course is like a tiny little fracture of the whole how to be a hunter license in Germany. So, but it's interesting and I liked it. But for the next step, um, we went to Walmart and bought ourselves the hunting license, which I had to figure out is a different thing from the hunting education course. So with the hunting license, you are able to go out and hunt for a certain, uh, for a specific animal in a specific time frame. I will not use it this year, uh, maybe in the future, I don't know. Um, but for now, it was just important for me to get my concealed carry license. When we went to Cabela's and asked them if we can buy a pistol, um, they told us without a concealed carry license, we can't do that. So therefore, we had to figure out where to get a concealed carry permit. The concealed carry permit in Virginia. So huge shout out to Vienna Arsenal and to Bravo 06 for having me and letting me film here. Also, one of our sponsors that outfit me is techmerch.com. If you want some shirts like this or this, you should visit it. And also we have tactical merchandise for women. It now needs you to take a lesson and get a certificate about concealed carry um, for this specific state. So we went to Vienna Arsenal and did a three hours course, um, had a nice gentleman there from the USCCA um, who talked us through the whole process of being a member of the USCCA. And also, really cool thing, it's an insurance kind of thing that covers you with a two million dollars um, for all the expenses you have with the law and the lawyers um, to get you out of jail and to replace your gun 
um, because if you have to use your gun someday, you get arrested anyway, even if you're in the right, doesn't matter, but your gun is getting taken away and you never get it back. So it's a good thing to be a member in the USCCA. Also, they have um, a lot of information for you. They talk you through um, the whole states, where you can carry, how you can carry, all that is on their on their app, which you can look up every time. And so the whole process of that, um, yeah, took me about a few weeks because I don't have this much time, but it's a few hours of lessons that you have to take, then you get your certificate, um, and then you go to your um, county's office or as your county's um, city hall, go there and from there on you can um, get your permit. The permit um, costs about $40. All you need for that is the concealed carry um, license and your hunting license, if I'm right. Um, maybe this whole thing changes in, a, in a, by next year, who knows. But um, what we learned on the course was that Virginia right now has the um, Stand Your Ground Doctrine. The year before it has the um, Castle Doctrine, which only allowed you to have your gun at home to protect your home. Um, but now you can take it with you and save your life with it. So if you need to. Super interesting for me as a German, I've learned a lot and right now I'm carrying for about three months so first I needed to get used to it because in Germany the most of the people are absolutely anti-gun. I was a gun owner before um, I had about 10 years of military experience and also seven years of uh, competition shooter which gave me a good amount of knowledge about guns and also about the handling. So I can recommend not just get your license because it can save your life, but also train a lot because this is the most important thing. Everyone uh, who is born in the US can buy a gun. Me as a residential but not a US citizen, I have to go through different um, scenarios. So um, I know there's many states in the US who have constitutional carry, not so Virginia, but um, therefore, me as a German, I had to give them all these licenses and permits and stuff like that, so that I can be able to use the Second Amendment. I'm pretty happy about that, because I had um, experiences in Germany before, where I get attacked by a couple of people, um, so many dark, um, things that I had to go through, but here I used the opportunity, which I think everybody should if you want to, um, because um, you are the one who protects you and your family and your friends, which in Germany maybe is not uh, even possible, even if we had laws like this. If you be the one to help somebody else who gets attacked by some criminals, um, you couldn't go out and help them shoot the bad guy to, to save some innocent peoples. Um, but here in the US, you clearly can. And I mean, that's one of the best things that you can do, right? Save some innocent lives. And as long as you're sure and you're not the one who uh, are killing an, an innocent and you go to jail for that. So always be responsible with this and always do what it needs to do and what it needs to carry educate yourself about the places where you can carry so every federal building or a place you can't have your gun with you that's important so it all comes down to the person if you're able to follow the rules and don't overdo um, what has, been, what has been given to you, because in Germany we don't have laws and rights like that. And you always should remember what America is offering you, 
because this is amazing. Go out and do the Second Amendment with pride, because I'm doing too. Hopefully, if you're interested in this, I can tell you more about the German gun laws to get you a glimpse of what is going on there, why it's so hard to get guns, and why it's even getting harder and harder for everyone who owns guns over there, because the prices are going up and all kinds of ammunitions are gonna be away from the shelves in a few years. So, if you're interested, leave me a like, follow this channel. I'm glad if you support, support me with your view or whatever. And hopefully see you next time. Gunny out.